Hey guys, it's Miguel here from Toy Quest 101, and it is finally here, the most anticipated statue of the year, the one-to-one -one life size Batman the Killing Joke Joker bus from Limit Studios in collaboration with Penguin Toys, and we're about to unbox that right now. Hey guys, welcome back, and as you can see, we wasted little time to put this bad boy together for you guys because this is an absolute grail, and I'm so pumped up to start the review for you guys. Now before we start, we wanna remind you guys to subscribe to Toy Quest 101, and don't forget to hit that notifications bell so you don't miss any toy reviews, statue unboxings, or any celebrity guests that might pop up on our show. Now I wanna give a special shout out to our sponsor, Spec Fiction Collectibles, for helping us acquire this magnificent piece for us to review for you guys today. Now, the first thing inside of the box is the Limit Studio Collectibles COA that came with this bus. Now, for those who don't know, this was extremely limited to only 99 statues, and today we have 40 out of 99, making this a true collector's piece and extremely limited. We also have the assembly instructions, which I highly recommend when putting this guy together. Now, before we get into the review, let's talk about Batman The Killing Joke comic, written by Alan Moore and drawn by Brian Bolin in 1988 as a one-shot graphic novel. Now, the story starts off with Batman visiting the Joker in the Arkham Asylum, who is in cell 0801. For those who don't know, Eight represents the eighth letter of the alphabet being H, and the first letter of the alphabet is A, meaning his cell number is Ha. Crazy, right? Now as Batman sits down to talk to the Joker, he tells him that he has been thinking about what's going to happen to them at the end if they continue down this road, basically saying that they are going to kill each other. As Batman makes a conscious effort to try to talk things over, he realizes the Joker in front of him is an imposter. 
We later find out Joker bought an old amusement park, killed the owner, and ends up at Commissioner Gordon's house with his infamous Hawaiian shirt and a camera around his neck. When he knocks on the door, he is greeted by Barbara Gordon, who is shot by the Joker, and then he continues to kidnap Commissioner Gordon. Now those events are what paralyzed Barba for years to come in the comics and later becomes Oracle. Now in the story we are treated with flashbacks of the Joker's past as a failed comedian who becomes the original Red Hood where Jason Todd later gets his name. We also see how he becomes the Joker after falling into a river of chemicals giving him green hair and white skin. Now finally, Batman finds the Joker, saves Gordon, and gets into a crazy fight with the Joker. Now after the fight, the Joker tells Batman a joke about two insane men, and they both begin to laugh. Then you see Batman grab the Joker, the two go out of frame, and the joking stops, leading readers to believe that Batman killed the Joker. Crazy insane story, one of my favorite stories of the Joker, one of my favorite comics, and now we have the life-size representation of the Joker from that comic book. So let's begin with the review. Now I absolutely love this bus. Like I said, I'm already calling it a grill because of the low ES, because of the amazing features and everything about this statue that I'm about to talk about right now. Now remember, they only made 99 of these. This looks absolutely incredible, but let's start with the base. Now the base is full of a ton of Easter eggs. I absolutely love it. And of course, it has your LED base and all the carnival lights here light up. I love the carnival base because it pays tribute to the comic like we just mentioned. You see right here the roller coaster as well, and it is super detailed. You see all kinds of lights, the roller coaster, you see the actual uh, rails and the tracks for the roller coaster. Uh, you see all kinds of things that have to do with the carnival, and it's just an absolutely amazing base. Now the back also says Batman the Killing Joke, it has a plaque on it which is pretty cool. And again, the assembly for this was not hard at all to put together. The only feedback I have, guys, if you're putting this together, just be careful with the camera when setting it in. You do have to put the camera on the right hand first before you set it on to the left. Now let's talk about this bus as far as a whole. Now this is a mixed media bus. As you can see, all this is tailored and mixed media here, which at first I thought I wasn't gonna like, but it really complements the statue and gives it that more realistic look. I love the cloth and leather that they use here for this. It looks really, really good. The purple looks really, really good. It's almost like a suede. Um, it looks absolutely amazing. Now let's talk about the camera, guys. I absolutely love the camera. They really put some thought into this. The brand is a Wits camera, which is pretty cool. They have a ton of details on the lens alone. You have the writing on the lens itself. You have all the numbers on it. They really didn't miss any details on the camera, which I thought that was pretty cool itself. Now let's talk about the portrait. You got that menacing grin. The hands are just right. It looks like he's taking that iconic photo from the iconic cover and all his wrinkles in his face, his pale skin, the paint applications are absolutely gorgeous. His gums are glossy, his teeth are glossy. His green is perfect for his hair and his eyebrows. I love when we were putting the hairs in, they all kind of go different ways to really set that tone of the hair flowing. And of course his hat, his amazing hat looks absolutely amazing as well. Now this is about three feet tall, two feet wide, so it is a gigantic one-to-one -one bus. But man, the presence of this is absolutely insane. I absolutely love it. They didn't skip a beat on a single thing. I love the green bow tie, the button up vest. I mean, everything you see here and every detail, they nailed this bus. I'm telling you right now, if you're a Batman fan, if you're a Joker fan, if you're a fan of that comic book, you have to have this in your collection. Man, I don't really call a lot of statues grails, but I'm telling you guys right now, if you missed out on this statue, you gotta be kicking yourself in the butt 
because this is absolutely, absolutely extraordinary. I absolutely love it. Um, I, like I said, everything about it, you got the, you know, the clowns here in the front, like the entrance to the carnival, which I thought was really cool. The base with all the carnival uh, Easter eggs looks really, really good. The base has its, you know, uh, details on it. It's got its distressed looks. The railroad is, you know, all messed up and, and broken. I mean, just everything that they thought of, they really nailed it for this bus. I think uh, Limit Studios did an absolutely amazing job with this. As you guys know, they announced their Superman bus, which is coming out soon. So a lot of people are excited about that. They did make some changes to the portrait. So they did listen to the community. Super cool. I'm excited to see what else Limit Studio has for, to offer for us in the future. But man, this concludes my review on this bus. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the, the story. I hope you enjoyed the review. And I hope you got to see the visuals of the in-hand Joker right here on Toy Quest 101. Special shout out again to our sponsor, Spec Fiction Collectibles, where all the links are gonna be in the bio of the video that helped us acquire this masterpiece. And guys, I hope you guys subscribe to our channel Check us out on Fridays on our live shows, and we'll see you on another episode of Toy Quest 101, That Geek Satchel Show. Bye, guys.